For those of us who live in Dublin, O'Connell Street can be so familiar that it's easy to overlook its incredible architectural and historical significance. When it was built, O'Connell Street's scale was radical, and it was among the first streets of this size and ambition in Europe. The street was laid out by landowner Luke Gardner from the 1740s. It originally stretched from Parnell Square to Henry Street and quickly became a fashionable residential address. Gardner named the street Sackville Street after the Lord Lieutenant of Ireland, but it was renamed after 19th century constitutional nationalist Daniel O'Connell. It is unusual that the street doesn't align with the main front of the Rotunda Hospital, which would have given the street a focal point. Instead, it's possible that Gardner always intended it to become part of a cross-city route. In the 1780s, Dublin's Metropolitan Planning Body, the Wide Streets Commissioners, began the process of extending the street to the river. Ultimately, the street would link up to a new bridge over the Liffey, then known as Carlisle Bridge, now known as O'Connell Bridge. The construction of this new bridge was highly controversial, as it blocked sea access to the quaysides upstream. Due to disputes arising from this, the bridge wasn't opened until 1795. The street acquired monumental status with the construction of Nelson's Column in 1808. In 1814, the Great Portico of the General Post Office, or GPO, was built on a vacant site next door. With the construction of the post office and improved access to the South City, the street gradually became more commercial in character. It was at this time that many of the great aristocratic townhouses were transformed into hotels. In 1916, the GPO became the headquarters of the Irish Rebellion during the Easter Rising. A week of fighting and shelling reduced the entire lower end of the street to rubble. In the Civil War in the early 1920s, the northeast end of the street was destroyed in the fighting. And in 1966, Republican activists planted a bomb which destroyed Nelson's column, the site of which is now occupied by the Spire of Dublin. O'Connell Street remains the main focal point of the city. Recent landscaping has vastly enhanced its appearance and atmosphere. With plans for improved public transport and new commercial developments, I think O'Connell Street's potential may soon be realised.